What is up my dudes and the one girl who just couldn't wait to see my smiling helmet again. This is Bikes, Beards and Brews. Let's kick that intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we kick this one off, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. New videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. Seriously, working on Mondays, no answer yet. <laughs> so today, man, we just had uh, a pretty heavy downpour that cleared all the salt off the roads. We may have some snow in the next day or two, so I just wanted to get out really quick on the bike, stop being a talking head behind the desk all the time, and do this video for you. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is kind of look at my speaker grills and stuff like that and make sure no mice have taken up residence in my uh, bike over the winter. I'm sure they're all pretty mad at me because I evicted them from my snowblower which was such a mess. I haven't used my snowblower in a couple years and it showed. It totally showed. Um, yeah, so I want to talk to you about something that I've been seeing quite a bit over the last week or so. Uh, we've got Daytona right around, uh, going on right now in fact. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of bikers, have trucked their bikes down to Daytona. They've trailered them, they've done all that stuff. Anything but ridden them down there. And this seems to have really upset and butthurt a lot of people out there. Um, and straight out, my personal opinion for it is I don't like the idea of trailering my bike only because I have a touring bike. So I feel weird <laughs> towing a touring bike because to me long road trips are what a touring bike is meant to do. So before you get your angry little thumbs all fired up on the keyboard, um, just stop. I don't care about some surgery you had 30 years ago. I don't care that you're like a thousand years old now. I don't care that you live in a cold climate. Like I don't care, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying this is wrong for you, that trailering is wrong for you. I'm saying my personal view for the way that I ride in the way that I tour, I, I'm not down with it. Will that change at some point in time? Maybe. It's not there yet. So this isn't an attack on you. Uh, what I have seen though is, man, this, this gets a lot of people fired up and angry. And I honestly, I don't get it. Um, so like I don't get the fact that you know people trailer I also don't get the fact that people get upset about trailering I mean keep in mind like Daytona going on right now it's March it's the beginning of March February just ended and up here in like New England like right now for example it is 40 and it is cold and uh, this has actually been one of the warmer days recently we've still been getting snow we have snow in the forecast um, and we have temperatures going down to uh, the 30s in the next few days so it's not as easy for us to get on a bike roll on down to Daytona and roll on back honestly even if we left on a warm sunny day like I, I guess like two days ago, it was like 60. Roads are still covered in salt, but it was 60. Um, you know, you could have left and it could have been 60 and everything was cool, but then on your way back, it could be like 10 degrees in a blizzard and you're not getting back. So I, I get why people in different regions do trailer uh, when they're trying to go to events like this. And that again I don't I don't understand why people are they almost take it like uh, clearly it's it's social media so everyone's got an opinion and everyone like has to like rage when they have those opinions I swear to God like most of the people complaining about stuff like this are just punching the keyboard they're not even typing but they they take it as like a personal like attack 
if somebody else is doing something that they do not like and it's absolutely crazy um, I just I don't know why it's it's like that and honestly down in the comments below like sound off like do you trailer your bike if so what kind of bike do you have because I guess it also makes sense you know if you're riding like a sporty or something and again save your angry little thumbs I know that you know sporties can go anywhere and travel across the country and have for years and years and years whatever calm down not everyone's like doing cross-country tours on their 883 so just relax but you know if you're trailering uh, where are you trailering from? Why do you trailer? And what type of bike are you trailering? Because, I mean, I get it. Like, a sporty's not going to be as comfortable. Some of you absolutely insane people riding like hardtails, uh, I guess you don't like having a functioning spine and stuff like that. I, I get not taking those cross country. Especially if you were, like, coming up here in June for, like, Laconia. Because let's let's be honest, um, we have potholes that are just designed to murder you and hide your body <laughs> all in one shot. So yeah, that's I I get trailering your hardtail on up here. I actually saw a bike last year that was mostly made out of brass, like had brass everything. It was a hardtail, and then. There was no spring on the seat, nothing like that. And the seat was brass and had no cushion on it whatsoever. And the dude was like, oh yeah, it's actually really comfortable to ride. And uh, somebody asked him where he was from and he was a couple states away. And so they were like, well, hey, did you ride it all the way up here? And he's like, no, I trailered it. And uh, my first thought was like, okay, it's not that comfortable to ride, calm down. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's it still happened. It was still a thing. I'm still seriously just blown away by all the rage comments I've seen in different like chat groups under different pictures of just people absolutely losing it over people trailering their bikes. It's nuts. <laughs> Aside from that, man, it is chilly out. But I am so damn excited to be on the bike. It's, uh, it's been a little bit. I, I really want to do the bike every month uh, thing so, you know, I could ride year round. I know there's a couple other guys doing that. I think uh, Goofy Bastard's one of them. Uh, but in February, I went to Disney and Universal. Those videos are up. So that, that was a fairly large chunk of February. And before we left, there was all kinds of snowstorms. And when we came back, there were all kinds of snowstorms. And I don't mean like just flurries. Like, I mean, the first day of our trip, we had to cancel because flights were canceled the day before because the snow was coming in and it was nasty. So, yeah, the, any, any chance to ride in February just wasn't going to uh, happen. It didn't line up with me, so... That's, that's whatever. But the other thing I'm really excited about, this is my uh, second video with the two cameras. I'm gonna work on perfecting this a little bit more and I don't know, just add that extra layer of depth to my videos, uh, whatever. So let me know how you're liking that as well. Are you enjoying seeing my helmet and all that fun stuff? Um, I will say that it's really not a big deal for me. I know a lot of people have those, like, you know, they always want to try and sync up what they're saying with, you know, their videos and all that, especially if they're going back and forth between the cameras. That's the great thing about a full face helmet. It doesn't matter. You have no idea. I could just be cutting random scenes and you, you wouldn't know. <laughs> so, I mean, this really isn't that difficult. It's just, uh, just a little, like I said, a little extra depth to what I do. I've always been kind of like one camera pointed out. So this is this is something new for me. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Aside from that, um, I've already started making plans for this year. I'm actually going back to uh, Camp Crystal Lake, uh, the Friday the 13th, part six uh, campground. I'm really excited to do that. 
I'm gonna make that an iron butt. So last time I actually broke it up over a, a few stops because I want to stop to see some family and all that fun stuff. This year, I've just decided that uh, the location down in like Georgia I'd be going to is about a thousand miles away. So I'm just gonna make that run and I'm actually gonna be doing a little bit of extra at that point as well. There, I'm gonna be doing a review at that point, but you'll, you'll see what I'm reviewing when I get there. Who knows, things may fall through, so I don't wanna promise anything right out the gate. Uh, I'm also planning to go down to VAM 22, uh, the Virginia uh, Moto Meetup. So that should be pretty fun. I'm actually going down to, and uh, I'll be hanging out with Blue Bike and Doyle and Mr. McBeard, uh, I mean uh, Mr. McStash. <laughs> so that'll be cool. It may actually, uh, that might be the first time I meet Mr. McStash, so we'll see how that goes. See if he tries to murder me in my sleep for that uh, that roast video. <laughs> but uh, really, that's all I got, guys. You know, thanks for uh, stopping in and entertaining me while I'm out on this 40 degree ride and just happy to be on my bike. And uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family. Share it with that one dork you know who's looking at my helmet and swearing that my lips aren't synced up to what I'm saying. He loves this stuff and he's a giant nerd. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the flip side.